Hey everybody, welcome to TIW Podcast. I'm Eric, and today I watched The Mandalorian Chapter 2, The Child. Um, I'm recording this in my hotel room in Las Vegas um, on Saturday night. Uh, I'm halfway through the Great American Comic Convention here in Las Vegas. And, um, you know, it was kind of a slow day for me, and so I was able to... I decided that I, I I saw somebody post something about episode two. I didn't think it was going to be out this soon. Um, so I guess maybe all the new episodes moving forward will be out on Fridays. I don't know. I haven't looked into it that much. But um, yeah, this was a shorter episode. It was only about 32 minutes. Less than that if you include the credits or exclude the credits. Um, but uh, it was great. Um, I... I I I liked it just as much as the first episode. There's a lot of stuff to be excited about. Um, uh, I a, a couple minutes into the episode, I realized now with the Mandalorian taking care. Okay, so spoilers, spoilers ahoy! If you haven't seen this episode yet, please go watch it. It's awesome. Um, but uh, yeah, early on, I thought is 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 the Mandalorian just Lone Wolf and Cub, like remade in the Star Wars universe with with you know blasters and stuff instead of samurai swords um and then i i searched it just now and other people have thought the same thing and i i think that's great if whether it whether or not it's a it's on purpose it's got to be on purpose but um yeah that's really exciting because that's a, a great great story a great uh series of stories lone wolf and cub the Um, I think I have the first two or three volumes I've been trying to, I haven't really been trying that hard. If I, if I really tried hard, I would just have all of the volumes of Lone Wolf and Cub, but, um, it's one of the manga series that I've been wanting to, to, to collect all of and read all of. But anyway, um, the Mandalorian, um, episode two, chapter two, the child. So we have this Yoda baby, that's uh you know following the mandalorian around and uh he gets into a scuffle on his way back to his his ship a bunch of bosk type characters i think bosk is that creature's name from a new hope is he in a new hope no he's in he's in return of the jedi anyway um he fights a bunch of those guys and um is able to, to fend them off and is repairing one of his wounds and a uh, little baby Yoda is really wants to help. He just c- keeps climbing out of his, his little bassinet there and is trying to use his force powers on him. And he's like, Nope, get back in your crib, get back in your crib. <laughs> it's not a crib, but it, yeah, yeah. His, his little, little seat there. Um, it's so, Oh my gosh. It's this, this Yoda baby is so freaking cute. Oh my God. Just imagine it right there. There's a page on, I think it's on the Vulture, um, that's, we know you're just here for the Yoda baby gifts, or baby Yoda gifts. Um, <laughs> our two main characters don't have names. How about that? Um, that's that's how you make a real television show. And then, like, the third character, I don't think he has a name either. Um, if he does, I totally missed it, and I didn't look it up anyway. But, um <clears throat> and then even IG88 or IG11 I don't think we ever hear his name we just know it from the credits or whatever and maybe we know the other character from the credits too I don't know but um anyway uh after after they're encamped for a little bit they he makes his way back to his ship except the there's a bunch of jawas stealing all kinds of parts from his ship there's a whole chase sequence. He, he starts picking them off with a sniper rifle and then chases them uh, down, tries to get into the sand crawler and all that. It's a whole thing, and it's great. Um, and so he goes back to the guy, the old guy, who um, he got help from earlier um, for some more help. He says, well, I can take you to the Jawas and uh, you can work out a deal of some sort. He's like, what, what do you mean, make a, work out a deal? He stole my stuff. It's my stuff. He gave me back the stuff, and they agreed to to give him back his stuff 
if they get the egg for them. The egg, the egg, they all chant. It's great. Um, I don't know what the Jawa word, I forget what the Jawa word for it was. Um, I should have written some stuff down, but I was already like pulling double duty by watching this during a convention when I sh- presumably would have been selling some stuff. Actually, I did take a break. I did make a sale during while I was watching this episode. One of the only sales I made today. I made three total sales. And I, I'm very appreciative of those three people. And I really hope they art, they like the artwork that they got. But anyway, um, <clears throat> the egg is an egg of this giant rhinoceros-type creature thing. It's, it's very different from a rhinoceros in just that it lays eggs, um, apparently. But uh, he finally succeeds because... Yoda baby uses the force to lift this creature off of the ground so it could it isn't able to charge at the Mandalorian and then the Mandalorian when the the creature so baby Yoda runs out of energy and passes out goes to sleep creature falls to the ground and then the Mandalorian stabs it in the neck and kills it and so he gets the egg takes it back to the Jawas, and they feast on the yolk, which is really gross, but also funny. It's weird and gross and funny. But, um, yeah, he gets all the parts back. Uh, the, the old guy helps him put it together. And he says, hey, I, I could use someone like you on my crew. He says, nope, nope, I've spoken. <laughs> and uh, so he goes on his way, and Yoda Baby wakes back up, once they're out in the, in space, and that's where we leave it. What's going to happen next? Who else is after this Yoda baby? Because those Bosk type guys had one of those tracker fobs, um, the same one, the same type thing that IG eighty eight, IG eleven, sorry, had um, to track down the Yoda baby. So there's all kinds of people going after after this this little guy or girl. Could be a girl. I don't. I don't think we can tell at this point. It's still a baby. Um, and I'm excited to see what happens next. The show is so good. I love it. Um, so uh, I, I read some other things. I'm like, oh, this could feed into Rise of Skywalker. And there are possible, there, it's a possibility that stuff will culminate uh, in this show that uh, are important for Rise of Skywalker. And I guess that kind of makes sense, except that there's, uh, I guess if they're coming out on an accelerated schedule, they could get all eight episodes out before, um, Rise of Skywalker comes out because we're only like three weeks away now, I think three or four weeks. So they got to do two episodes a week if they're going to have everybody be able to watch all of it before the movie. So I guess we'll 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 see what's going on with all of this. Um, uh, I mean, we've got we've got the stuff going on with clone technology that could play a lot. A lot. I mean, clone the Clone Wars were first mentioned in the very first movie. It's a whole thing that's got to tie into stuff that happens coming up so anyway um i'm really excited for chapter three i'm also really excited for rise of skywalker all of it's coming soon some more soon than others but um yeah i i I love this episode um i don't know if i can pick which of the two i like both episodes so much um this episode is a bit shorter than the first one um i had read before this episode come out that the first episode was the somebody was claiming that the first episode was the shortest of all of them or something well that is uh, immediately untrue so i don't know what to believe anymore um but however long the episodes are i'm excited because like it's on its own stream. It doesn't have to fit a specific format. It doesn't have to have the the specific act breaks every five minutes or whatever. Um, it can be whatever, whatever length of an episode that they, they need it to be to tell the story the best way possible. And I like that a lot about it. So that's that. I'll leave it at that. 
I really enjoyed this episode. Um, let me know what you thought about it by tweeting me at TIW Podcast. Go to TIWpodcast.com for more reviews. If you enjoyed this episode or anything else on the site, please share some links with your friends. Subscribe on iTunes, Spotify, Stitcher, YouTube, wherever you like to listen. And stay safe out there in all the infinite multiverses, in all the galaxies far, far away a long, long time ago. And I'll see you next time here on TIW Podcast. Bye.